Hi guys, I will show you this in this video my tool to make any rig you have to be as Unreal Engine 5 rig. For example, I download this character from Sketchfab and we see there is a lot of additional bonds. With this tool, you can convert this rig to be Unreal Engine 5 rig with keeping all these additional bonds. So you don't need to create a new rig or change the rig. First, let's create the rig and, we and I show you the feature that I have in this tool. For example, I have featured this for uh, pose matching. This uh, feature will make you see the character, uh, how, uh, how the character look in Blender before you export it to Unreal Engine 5. So uh, let's only create the rig and export it and see you how we can use this tool to get a perfectly rig to use in our game. First, let's uh, show you how this tool works. Uh, as we see this rig, we can edit our bone in this list for left leg, right leg, left arm, right arm, spine, and head. And we can save a template to use uh, this uh, template for a similar rig or to uh, use it later. And if we have a fingers or if we don't have fingers, we can leave it as empty. We see I have only for thigh, I added thigh. The thigh twist I don't have, so I leave it empty. And for cliff, and I added shin, and foot, and toe. And this toe, and foot. Right leg, the same thing. Left arm, I added shoulder, upper arm, forearm, because I don't have a twist. If I have a twist, I will edit them here, and right arm, and the spine. We see, I added the head, this spawn for head, and this spawn for neck two, neck one, and chest. This one for the chest. And we can edit like this or from bottom and up like this. Now let's create the leg. Or, okay, let's see. It. Now we see the rig has been created. And let's abort the character to an engine 5. Let's import our character. We select Unreal 5 skeleton. And we see the rig with all additional bonds. Let's set up the character. We see it's the character working with Unreal Engine 5 rig with all the feature of the Unreal 5 rig. But we have problem in the hand and in the pose of the character. Now before we do, uh, let's return to the Blender and show you uh, how to use pose matching to get perfectly uh, good character to use in your game. Now before we do the rigging, let's may use pose matching. Now we get the Unreal Engine 5 rig pose. That will fix the problem of our character in the engine. And even we can edit the pose as we like with this point. So let's edit the pose. This pose, this pawn as separated. They don't affect how the 
the structure of the original uh, ermic uh, skeleton of our character. It just uh, to show you how to edit the pose. It don't affect the original skeleton. Okay. Let's enable mirror and edit edit the pose. And this is how the character will look in Unreal Engine 5 and fix error all the problems you have. Now let's apply the pose. Now apply pose and create it. Now we will export this rig to Unreal Engine 5. And let's update our our uh, skeleton. Just re-import, and we see how this character look. Let's test the character with gameplay. Now we see the character how it's look and without the problems that we have. And even if we test IK. And IK working and everything working as we like, as we see. And we see uh, the character have some problem in in his uh, shoulder. We can fix this too. Let's return to the blender and we return before we do it and return to the pause editing. And we see how it's look in blender and how. Uh, they uh, the character look in Unreal Engine, so it's already look in the Blender. It's bad, so we'll fix it and uh, reimport our character to see the problem has been fixed. So let's back the shoulder. Now let's apply pause and create as easy as we see. It's so very easy. And export and re import our character. Yeah, now let's see. And we see the shoulder had been fixed and perfectly good skeleton and the free the complete freedom to edit the boys as we like thank you for watching